Hey guys, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different because this is my very first... Is it sponsored? Sort of sponsored. What happened was a couple of weeks ago, I was contacted by 13 Rushes. Not only me, Diana and Tiara as well. The three of us, we were contacted by 13 Rushes and they asked if we would like to review their brushes. So we were like, why not? A few weeks ago, I have received my 13 Rushes brushes which 13 Rushes has sent to me. So obviously today, I am actually going to be doing a, re a, re there, a review on all of these brushes that they have sent me. A big shout out to 13 Rushes. Thank you so much for these brushes. So if you guys want to see or hear more about these brushes, just keep on watching. Okay, to start off, I have already experienced buying some brushes from 13 Rushes and this was the original or the first brush set which I bought from them and this is a seven piece customized uh, brushes whereby I can actually choose seven brushes from their collection and I am actually not going to go like into detail about with all of these brushes because I have already included that in my haul so if you guys are interested to see that haul I'll have the link down below my very first time buying 13 rushes brushes uh, shipping wise delivering wise it was really really fast because 13 rushes is actually a local brand as a Singapore as in a Singapore based brand and they manufacture and sell brushes so give love and support for local brand guys so when I open the package up it actually comes in a netted pouch like this. I received five brushes from 13 brushes, two of which is actually being um, sort of covered by the brush guard and then the other three they actually come in, they actually came in this kind of plastic. I'm sorry if it's a little bit dirty because before this I have just recorded the demo. Let's start off with this brush. This is the 13 brushes round powder brush. This is my first time getting a powder brush from 13 brushes because the other time I didn't want to get a a face brush because I have like so many face brushes with me right now. You can actually see how big it is. Okay, let me just compare it with my Sigma brush. It is very similar. I really, really like this brush a lot. It is so soft. It is very, very fluffy. It is really great if you want to apply like a loose powder or a setting powder using this brush. It is so, so soft, guys. Oh my god. You guys really have to try it out. It is so soft really really soft and i'm not kidding anyway i am not saying like good things about these brushes just because i am obliged to know this is basically based on my own opinion because i was told to do a review obviously anyway i will have all of the details or pricing of all of this as well as a direct link to the website for these brushes down below in the info box so don't forget to check that out next this is the ultimate shader brush and i'm pretty sure that you can actually apply your foundation using this as well but uh for me i will actually use this brush to apply my contour or my bronzer and the thing that i really really like about this is that it is very fluffy it will be able to define your uh, contour color yeah, so um, it is really very fluffy, so at the same time, you can actually blend it out. As opposed to this flat top sculpting brush, this one, it is really great if you want to have like a more chiseled look. Uh, but the thing is that this is really dense, so you are not able to, you know, um, uh, blend out your contour colour. But this one, you can actually contour and you can blend out um, at the same time. And not forgetting, it is really, really really soft so yes this is the ultimate uh shader brush okay next is this angled blush blush angled blush brush um from my collection i actually have one as well but they are exactly the same hey wait is this the same hmm no they are not eh? I don't know why, it is a little bit different. The shade itself looks a little bit different. Um, probably this is the new and improved version or is it a newer one, I'm not sure. And also plus, there is actually a name uh, on it. 
whereas the old one they don't have any names on it but 13 rushes good job for the name printing because it totally helped me a lot because I am not good with remembering all of my brush names because I have like tons of brushes. You can actually use it to contour. You can use it to apply blush as well. Like for me, I normally prefer to uh, use an angled blush brush to apply my um, my blusher because it just makes the work done like really easily and fast. And you can actually just uh, you know concentrate at the apples of your cheek um, around that area. So you can actually just blend it out at the same time. It's also very, very soft. Oh, 13 rushes, you guys are just amazing. I really, I am really very impressed with all of your brushes. Next is this Duo Fiber Fan Brush. I have one uh, fan brush in my collection, but I rarely use that. For those of you who like to apply like highlighter or you know, sometimes when you do your eye makeup, you have like a lot of fallouts. What you can do is with a fan brush, you can just... Um, like you know um, sweep away all of those fallouts and uh, for me I don't usually apply highlighter on my at the like the highest point on my face because I have oily face and I am normally not a fan of highlighter but um, this is great if you are someone like me do not want too much like shininess on your face this actually pick up very minimal product I don't have a Highlighter so this Milani big blush is like the closest I have to a highlighter because it's pretty light and it's quite uh, Shimmery as well. So what I can do is I can just swirl this brush around on the product itself and just swipe it at the highest point on my face usually above my blusher. So it is really great and of course I think I'm getting sick or you guys are getting sick of me like listening to me saying this already. This is like really really soft as well. Okay and finally for the very last brush, um, this is a lip brush. Okay let me just tell you guys something. Okay, I have so many brushes but I have never owned a lip brush before. So I'm really very very thankful because 13 Rushes actually sent this to me. Thank you so much guys. I am sure that you guys actually experience applying some lip product which is kind of hard to apply especially for red lipsticks but for me my red, red lipstick is still okay for me i have so many lip products but the hardest for me to apply would have to be this l eagle lip glaze it is not really very uh user friendly because when you if you want to apply the lip product straight from the tube it will be very 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 messy so a lip liner brush like this or a lip brush like this it is really great at like you know um applying it on your lips if you want to like have a really nice crisp look of your lip products, I would totally recommend getting this brush because it, it just makes application of lip product really really easily because the brush itself it just allow the products to like you know glide on your lips so easily. All right, so that's it for today's uh, review on this 13 Rushes brushes. Just a shout out to 13 Rushes. Thank you so much for sending these brushes over to me. I love each and every one of them a lot. Not only the ones that you guys like send it over to me, but together with the ones which I personally purchased myself. I just can't wait for more brushes to be manufactured or launched or like you know especially like those new brushes because I know that I will definitely get it okay even though I have like so many brushes with me right now okay so I really hope that you guys have found this video helpful uh, please give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel if you have found this video helpful and of course if you have enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to watch Tiara and Diana's videos on this review as well I'm not sure when when they are gonna upload them I'll probably have the links to their videos down below after they have really uploaded them. Yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching. Oh, and Happy New Year, Happy Chinese New Year or Happy Lunar New Year to all of my Chinese friends or whoever viewers who are watching this video. Hope you guys will have a prosperous year ahead. And yeah, I think I will see you guys in my next video on Thursday at 7am. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye!